Hanging out here at Harley Davidson with the California Kid, your eye of favor. How you doing, man? Doing pretty good. UFC 139. You got another big fight coming up. Yeah, it's going to be a big one and uh, facing a tough guy that not a lot of guys know. And um, I don't know why that is. Just kind of a quiet person, but, you know, pretty loud when he gets in the cage. He, he's a tough dude, Brian Bowles. Is that always the riskiest type of fight for you? The type of guy that you know is really dangerous, but he doesn't have necessarily the biggest name with the casual fan? Because if you lose to a guy like that, it could be devastating. Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't make it it doesn't make it any easier you know you're you're trying to always fight the big fights that people want to see and um it's gonna be a great fight that people afterwards are gonna be like so happy that they saw it but beforehand they don't really know you know both guys in the fight so um he's there to make a name for himself and and i'm there to to win the fight dominant in dominant fashion and get the belt you almost said dominic there like a little freudian slip <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel about dominic cruz he still holds the belt at 135 pounds do you guys feel like it's water under the bridge at this point or do you still have something in you that makes you want to get back in there and finally settle that score with him now that it's all tied up yeah i think we're gonna fight again i yeah. mean there's no question about that uh even the last fight was still some question you know i i felt like it was a very close fight and um there needs to be another another go to see who's who's the man. Did you go back and watch it? I've watched it a bunch of times. Do you yeah. feel like you lost the fight watching it back, or do you feel like you won it? Um, it really depends on how you score the fight. You know, I, I feel like I did some really great things, had a couple different knockdowns, and and uh, you know he landed a couple more punches and and had a lot more takedown attempts. But I feel like I stuffed and 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 was able to utilize uh, defense and, and make him pay when he tried to shoot on me. And so, um, you know, it's really hard to say, uh, to, to call it either way, but um, I don't, definitely don't feel like I got beat up. It's interesting because Brian Bowles and you have something in common in the fact that neither of you like Dominic, and both of you have pretty publicly said it. Does Dominic get a bad rap? I don't know. I mean, you can only put out what you've met of a guy, and, and um, I got to know him a little bit more, and I don't think he really cares, so. Is he getting a bad rap? I think he's just playing it how he wants to, and, and that's just being himself. And some people like him, some people don't. Um, you know, when it comes down to it, I don't really care. I don't have to spend time with a guy other than 25 minutes in the cage. So, you know, that's, that's what I look forward to. So Harley Davidson is doing the hometown throwdown. They're letting UFC fans bring a fight to their hometown. Your thoughts on being in front of a, a home audience and being able to fight in front of people that you know fully have your back? The hometown crowd. You know, it's 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 a great advantage because of the energy. When you have uh, you know the energy of a ton of people who are you know wishing you good luck and 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 putting their good thoughts behind you, it, it helps. And it's cool that Harley's getting behind something like that. It's always great to see sponsors that are giving the the fans unique chances to do something like this. And Sacramento would be the spot, man. Uh, I think. Wait, are you lobbying for Harley to bring the UFC back to Sacramento? I'm, I'm lobbying for the fans to get behind it and, and bring it back to Sacramento. I think uh, we've got some of the best fans in the world and, and we could use some live fights around our area. Speaking of the, the UFC rolling into town, for cities that have never experienced this before, you've been in that spot where you've had the whole arena of people chanting your name. How magical is that moment? It's really neat, you know. Like I said, the energy is pretty incredible. and. Um, for someone like me, one of the reasons that I fight is just the enjoyment that everyone else gets out of it. You know, whether it be my family or my friends or people that support me and are, are people I've never met that are emotionally behind me. It's, it's, it's cool to see that. Having the hometown crowd there and having everyone screaming your name and excited for you to fight is just a cool experience. <laughs>